Good evening, everyone. Yes, we're just about ready. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. We'll be with you any second. Just about ready. Don't we hit a button? Hello, good evening, how are we all? Welcome. It's the weekly dev stream. Here we are, here we are. Uh, yes, again, I'm not Eric. Bit of a change of face, if you thought that it was going to be Eric. Uh, he's on a wonderful bit of vacation, uh, some downtime, some splendid recreation with his family and friends. So I'm your host for the next couple of hours as we dive into the Drake system. If you're with me uh, when, <laughs> yes, Flory, I'm not Eric. Everybody gets confused with this. Um, we'll be diving into the Drake system again, as we did uh, a few weeks back uh, when I took over from the wonderful Eric. Um, so we're going to be diving in still on the Vindicator. Yeah, we're still flying that Vindicator, which is very, very nice. Um, but if we do get the chance, we may switch ships again, which I'll give you boys and girls a chance to choose. Uh, hello, YouTube chat. Before you think you're getting left out, I can see you over there as well. I've got your various chats, so if I start looking over. Uh, I hope you're all well over there. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. It is Friday. That means the weekend is just around the corner for many of us. Hopefully, you've finished work, etc., etc. So, what we've got today, obviously, <clears throat> I told you we're going to be diving into the Drake system. We're going to be flying around uh, there with the Vindicator, doing some missions, doing some jobs, maybe the odd challenge here and there. And then um, maybe, you know, uh, we do a bit of sprinkling of the story as well, which would be very nice for us to do. Uh, we've got some community screenshots, to be fair, uh, between you guys on the Discord and also on um, Steam. They have been absolutely amazing. You really upped your game, really upped your game. And I'm intrigued to see what happens when uh, the uh, console guys get their hands on the game as well, because uh, I think they're going to be bringing some wonderful shots too. So if you haven't, do, do check them out on uh, on Steam. I know we have obviously the screenshot channel over on the Discord, which is very, very nice to peruse, but some people are putting some wonderful stuff up on Steam as well. So do check them out. Uh, some amazing stuff, amazing stuff. <laughs> Good guy, Goku. 
great looking guy uh, thank you very much uh, eric's uh, eric's not none too shabby himself he's a very tall guy uh wonderful to be around but yes we'll we'll take that uh uh, Bitty Frog, if you don't end with an ode today, you're dead to us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, apologies, there is not going to be an ode today. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I would like to, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try and do as much gameplay as we can, screenshots, and then, uh, you know, let you boys and girls go off to uh, the weekend. So we're going to continue our save, um, which I'm just going to load up so I get the right one. Come on, stream save. There we go. <laughs> I love you really, Bitty Frog. I love you daily. Uh, it's the new work. Thank you very much. So if you do have questions, as always, uh, please do fire them into chat. I'll try and stop and peruse those questions as we go through. Uh, hopefully I can answer them. Remember, if you are looking for questions on future content, we might not be able to mention much on that. Uh, obviously, you know that we've got some free DLC coming later uh, in the year. And then the premium DLC, which is going to be much further down the track. But, you know, if you have any queries in the meantime, uh, please do let us know. Uh, unknown over straight away over on YouTube. Uh, I have a console related query with the game run at F 60 FPS. So in terms of 60 FPS, it's going to run on a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X. That is the aim for 60 uh, FPS. If you have an Xbox Series S, that's unfortunately not going to happen. The the hardware, unfortunately, is just not strong enough to maintain the, uh, the 60 FPS. But if you're on a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X, then that is the aim. So hopefully that will do that. Um, so, to be honest with you, you can probably tag me. Uh, if you want to tag Geekbyte in the chats, then I'll probably see it. Uh, Flory over on YouTube, sorry, on Twitch rather, uh, wants to know when we will see Keone in the stream. Who can say, Flory? Who can say? Maybe one day, maybe one day. Uh, but yeah, um, Michael might be floating around. I know Lee might be floating around as well. Um, so uh, yeah, if you do have any questions, uh, then just tag. <laughs> okay, you are here. I, I'm not here. I'm okay. Just tag me anyway because I see the highlight for the Geek Bite. So just tag me there. So I do see it on the YouTube chat. So uh, right, let's dive in. Uh, let's have a look at some jobs, etc. that we've got. So at Minesweeper. Okay, Dangerous Mines, possibly. Uh, station maintenance uh, or battle support. I'll tell you what, we'll pick up battle support. I do like those. I do like those. I do like to go have a little battle support. We'll do the minesweeper as well. Yeah. You know, we're going to pick up them all. Let's do them all, shall we? Let's do them all. We'll just check the ship deal and see if we've got anything going on. Uh, so our current ship obviously is the Vindicator. We're on a tier three. Um, we are T three. Yeah, we are T three Vindicator. Um, so we've got a three plus on the interceptor, the Vanguard. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stick with what we've got for the time being. Uh, there's a different style Vindicator down there. That's very sad. I do like the uh, the little uh, orange red accents on it though. That's 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 quite nice. Very clean looking. Very clean looking. But anyway, let's dive in. <sighs> uh, Your had over on YouTube. Will there be spoilers in the stream? Not unless anything intentional comes out of this mouth, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll try not to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, Eric will never let me live that down that I said. Right, let's go do that one. We'll go do the battle support and let's head into the black. Yeah, is Slurry not with us today? Oh dear, uh, I hope he's well. I hope he's okay. I hope uh, nothing's going on. There we go. We've got Rockfish uh, Games Lee over on the Twitch chat. There he is. If you do have any uh, marketing questions, etc., and you do want to fire him his word, please do. Do send them up, and then we can see if we can answer them for you. There he is. And he's just miraculously appeared <laughs> over on the tube of you as well. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Lee is our PR director here at uh, Rockfish Games. Uh, wonderful guy all the way from Canada. So, uh, yeah, do uh, do ask any questions and, and be nice. Be nice. A wildly has appeared indeed. So let's go do this battle support in the Vindy and see how we get on. Possibly, yeah, because we're in the direct system, we're going to be a little bit further on in terms of story, but I'll try and, and skip a lot of conversation if necessary. Are you the guy they sent to help us? Yeah. yeah. Just hang on. I'll take care of these guys. Okay. Go. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. 
Repair the drones. Come on, repair. He's nearly down. Yeah, he's gone. Let's pick on something else. Ooh, that went messy. Let's actually get. Okay. Ready for action. Uh, any sound levels, if there's any problems, just let me know and I can tweak as necessary. I don't want everybody just to be blasted off. Oh, we spent, there we go. We've got these really drones. Oh, done. More, more targets to shoot. Hello. To work out here. Yeah. It didn't work out. Well, you did it. Snooze, you lose. Let's get back to the action if we can. Another bomber. Yeah, keep him behind those bombers where we can because they could be nasty. Didn't get it. Didn't tag him. Oh, he's webbed. That's handy. There we go. Done. How are we doing? Oh, we nearly done it. We nearly done it. We nearly done it. I'm happy. I'm good. Right, the need space. Come on. Come on, coalition. Come on. Come on, I can't do everything for you. Let's do some. They're leaving. They're leaving. Yeah. Uh, extra mass i wonder if we can turn gb allies against us by shooting them in these types of jobs i haven't tried that um as far as i'm aware no but it'd be funny if you could all right let's just repair and get some wreck wreckage there we go there we go oh it's good to get some more repairs done There we go. Right, have we got anything in here that we can possibly find? What the no. Sorry, there you go. Oh, credits. Credits. Always good at credits. Right, let's just have a little fly around. Oh, yeah, he blew up, didn't he? So let's see what we got. Anything good? Let's have a little our inventoire. So we got... Oh, okay, that's that's a, uh, an improvement over that. Although I would, would lose the firepower, precision. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. And then we'd lose structure and utility, but gain precision fire. Okay, if we shut down, that's the EMP blast. Hmm, hmm, not good. Interesting. How you doing, her Kex? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Junior Pantiotti over on YouTube. Uh, when do we station repairs? Who thought it was fair to put the repairs uh, on a nav boy? <laughs> well, we like to make things interesting is what I'll say to that one. Uh, JR Pantiotti. I think that's not bad, to be fair. Um, Pesky. Just saw the OST in the intro at the beginning of the stream. That's CD or something. What's the price of the OST? Uh, all OSTs of uh, ES2 included. Um, with regards to the... Uh, uh, soundtrack. Uh, it's still being worked on by Gero. He's doing a wonderful job. Lots of tweaking, lots of work to do. Um, that will be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, don't know the exact date on that, but hopefully soon. Uh, but yeah, the soundtrack uh, will be an absolute doozy. Uh, Bearded Frog. Um, uh, this one's really for Lee more than anything. Uh, as an indie game studio, how difficult do you find it to get attention from the well-known game news review sites and overall to the world out and about Everspace 2? Interesting. I know Lee can probably ask, answer that. If he doesn't because he, he's, he's busy, then um, maybe uh, I, I can dive in and answer that a little bit. And then Unknown, got another question. When when will digital pre-orderings go live on Xbox? Right, Unknown, just f for your perusal, if you go to the website, um, you can go to xbox.com. 
you will see uh, the digital pre-order for the Xbox Series S and X versions. Currently, it's not showing in the um, uh, marketplace on, on the Xbox console, but if you do want to go to xbox.com, you can pre-order directly from there. So, uh, uh, there we go. Michael's just given some clarification on the OST. It's scheduled to arrive when the free content update drops later this year. There we go. There we go. Straight from the horse's mouth. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> can't wait. I'll bear you for a can't wait for the physical art book. Yeah, I think that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. Um, and then uh, Lee's just answered for Pesky. Uh, the OST shown here is digital download, and that is included part of the retail stellar edition. Uh, we'll have a sizable OST available digitally, and we'll share the price soon. There we go. Covered all bases there, haven't we? Covered all bases. Right. Anything that we want to keep with that? No, no, no. Sure. Sure. Credits. Better value by weight. But yeah, there's. Uh, if you do want to pre-order um, on Xbox, then you can. Like I say, for the digital, it is on um, Xbox.com. Uh, but you just can't see it on the marketplace within the console um, front end. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here, so let's make like a tree and leave. Credits don't have a wit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that line. Every time it, it comes up, it does make me chuckle. It does make me chuckle. Digital storage, yeah. Yeah. So, right, we've done that one. Um, so we completed. We can have a look at that. Battle support, claim and rewards. Yeah, thank you. We'll have a little bit of that. How are we doing on Renown? Uh, there we go. Right. Off we go. Right. So next up on our agenda is that our station maintenance. Okay. Let's head to that one, shall we? There we go. Travel there. <sighs> oh, yeah. Golden Holland, just over on YouTube, has just asked. Uh, uh, they're doing uh, riff runs right now. Is it possible to get two legendary items in one run? Um, no. You can only get the one um, per run, and that's dependent upon your lunacy as well. So there's no guarantees if you're specifically doing a lower lunacy that you would get a, a legendary. Uh, Johan Cross, I love it when your sentinels fly right next to you. It's so cute and cool at the same time. Uh, yeah, the, the little drones are, are quite cool. It's like, hey, we're here. <laughs> Can I get the OST okay, written in the, the substance? Let's look for damage spots. Right, let's look for damage spots, shall we? There's a damage spot. There's never a good thing when things are leaking. Oop. Uh, Herkex, yes, I am in the Drake system. Yeah, Michael is lurking while cooking. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something good. Much better. I see it was a very interesting question uh, that um, Billy Frog did ask over on YouTube. Um, regarding uh being an indie studio and how difficult it is to get the basically the word out and to you know uh, about everspace 2 etc and lee has replied and said they can't cover everything but we do have lots of uh, attention uh, from many of the big sites around the world we've done a lot of work over the campaign to ensure folks in the media are excited about everspace 2 uh, and to be fair yes you know it it was an amazing job from the the marketing team you know being an indie studio can be you know problematic you know you've got to battle with the big boys and 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 choose um, timings carefully. Right. That's one there. Oh, that looks like a bit of a... Holy lake. Patched up. This be a revelation. An absolute revelation. Whoop. There we go. That one is that a sneaky one there? That's a sneaky one there as well. I thought that was just a vent, but it's actually leaking. But yeah, there's uh, obviously giveaways uh, when you do 
look for um, certain patches to repair. You know, the, the smoke, the steam, the venting air. Did I miss that one? I missed that one. So if we have a look around for there. Right. Eh, up there. There we go. Sometimes if you do find yourself, especially with these things, and you're looking for a specific object, a specific thing to repair or whatever, and you just can't see it, and you originally just can't see the clue. Sometimes if you just fly around for a little bit, your senses will pick up on it. Also, there we go. Fizz, fizz. Damage. How many have we got? This is nine. All right, three more. Oh, there's one over there. Fizzing, fizzing, fizzing. There we go. Let's get into the range of that. I wonder if there's... Oh, there's one. There's one. And underneath... Another one underneath it all. Right, there's one more. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a pest, isn't it? It really is gonna be a pest. This one. Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. And he's just jumped in as well. There it is. Found it. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. We looks like we're done here. Looks like we're done. Well, here. Done with the job. Excellent, Mr. Roslin. Gotta look without the sun in your eye. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Sometimes, you know. Searching around some stuff that will sell. Uh, da, 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 da. Container, more stops. Always good, even if you just pick the stuff up, you don't necessarily need it. Just sell it on, get some extra credits. Make it say, oh, hang on, have I missed a, I missed a container? I missed a container. A shipwreck, no less. Up. It had some bad medicine. Right, let's just shift it over to there. Once we've cleaned up, um, more shipwrecks. Ooh, Drake. Mm. Ooh, okay. Uh, once we've cleared up here, we shall look and see if we've got some more questions. I'm sure you boys and girls have got some asking away. We clean through. Right, I think we're all good. We're all good. What are you doing over there? Mm. Retaliate a scout in and around all this. Shall we just have a little look, say, all this debris? Get rid of the drone. Hey, it's toast. There we go. Nice. Oh, he was just going to give me some frost damage there, wasn't he? He was trying. He was trying. Right. Just making sure there's nothing in here. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Right. So just before we go out there. Uh, how are we doing? Uh... Uh, Flory's asking, uh, I want to ask a question for in four weeks. Will there be a stream on that day, uh, the party day? No, there won't be a, a, as far as I'm aware anyway, unless, unless Michael's got anything uh, planned, but I don't think we have, we have, uh, the, uh, the launch party will, we will not be having a stream from. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit hectic. Uh, we've got lots of new people. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Lee's, uh, <laughs> Lee's just confirmed it. Yeah, we're unlikely to have a stream on that day as both myself and Eric will be away from our usual setups and the party will be in full swing during our usual stream time. Indeed. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, JR Panciotti over on YouTube. Any thoughts about making the last two leaks more visible like last base items? I, I know this has been discussed. Uh, I'm not generally party too many discussions in terms of uh, internal workings etc but i do know that this has been mentioned so maybe it'll be something that will be tweaked in the future oh we shall see um da -da -da -da. 
Uh, Johan, actually, good question. What que uh, good question is, what weapons am I currently running? I'm currently using the Synchro Pulse and also the Sustained Auto Cannon. And uh, with a little bit of rockets in between as well for a little bit of fun. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da. Because your modifiers have changed up the odds of getting different uh, high quality gear, nothing with legendary stats, more like normal gear like HRAs. If I remember correctly, to do make high rods for legendaries in HRAs. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, let's just check on that. We'll grab that reward. Thank you very much. Right, we'll go do Minesweeper because we'll go find that. I think. Ooh, has that just popped up? Ooh, destroy base. It will also do because we did pick one up in our inventory. Uh, a Drake signal decoder. We'll, she'll activate that while we're here. Right, so let's get out of here. Uh, there is a certain level restriction or a certain level limit on your HRAs. So um, I think it's three levels, if I remember correctly. If you are three levels above uh, a HRA, um, whether you've kind of activated it or whether it's hanging around in your inventory, uh, you will not be able to utilize that HRA. Right, so destroy the base or HRA. Ooh, eeny, meeny, meeny. Let's do the HRA first. Let's do the HRA. Let's do <laughs> DH, yeah. To be honest with you, you can get some good stuff relative to your level at all times. Uh, also remember that you can, you know, craft uh, or remove level restrictions. So if you pick something up that's slightly above your level, then by all means do switch it up. Right. HRA, wealthy foes. Oh, let's see. Are you coming in? Yeah, you are. Oh. Yeah. You've only got armor, haven't you? Not got any shields, so we're going to take you out with the auto cannon. There we go. You're gone. Keep the wreckage flowing. Oh, hello. Ooh, we can't get a scout with a shield. Nice. Right. He's down. Let's get that wreckage done. So he does have a frontal shield, but there we go. There we go. We'll get them repaired again as well. Talia Bomber, he's gone. Frost, he's gone. Oh, hello. Some rockets heading my way that are trying to tail me. And you can go. Yeah. The drones, cool. We're keeping them topped up, which is handy. This is the first HRA I've done as uh, a Vindicator, uh, weirdly. He's done. That showed them indeed. There we go. Fed the drone again. Fed the drone again. Get them topped up. They're doing some excellent damage for me. Well done, drones. Proud of you. Keep it up. I'll keep you alive. Right, let's just do that. Get his shield out of the way. Here we go. Construct a drone, so obviously we've lost one. Construct another one. Oh, he's trying to get away. He's trying to get away. Okay, right. Take on this scout. Oh, there we don't just lost a drone they are not wanting to play ball we've got lots of wreckage going down here though but we'll tell you what we'll do is we'll fly down here and construct some more drones Oop, hello. Oop. damn indeed I realised I've got my E the wrong way around. I normally have my EMP on um, my number one key. Oh, sorry, my not my EMP. Like, teleportation. 
There we go. Right, boss is going to join. What I tend to do here, if necessary, <laughs> if I can, hostiles are still detected. Right, let's get this wreckage. And he's just jumped in. Let's get the repairs done. Yeah. Right, go take on the boss, peeps. There we go. There we go. Right, let's. Okay, sending in detonated rounds. Nice. Boop. I know he's giving me some, but these rockets are just going to tear him apart. And there we go. Wink. Let's repair. Let's repair. Boink. And yeah. Too shabby. Shabby. We did all right there. Right, let's have a look at our inventory. Oh, we've got another direct signal decoder. Uh, any questions come in? We'll just have a quick look. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's, let's have a look. Uh, got that. You hear them? No, excellent. Excellent. Right. So we've got, ooh, we've maybe got a, an improvement on our booster. Not too sure. Yep, yeah, the green screen tech is working well on the water bowl. Because it's green. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at our cruise booster. Ooh. Ooh. Not too sure if I'm a fan of that one, to be fair. The speed gain is nice, but the recharge, that's painful. <sighs> You're not wrong there. Definitely a scout class. Mm, don't think, yeah, the recharge on that, I, I just do like. Cause you're thinking you're never out of charge. EMP missiles. Mm, okay, Jaeger. Kinetic and energy. Yeah. I think we're going to stick with that for the time being. Some of the other things I'll probably end up selling <coughs> as we go. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're okay for the time being. Right, so we're going to... Oh yeah, Minesweeper we were going to. Well, we did that HRA. So, um, there's a yeah, loot box over there. Oh, it's a shipwreck. Let's see. Let's see. Whoop, hello. That flew past. Maybe I think I had initial dampeners off. <coughs> right. Oof. Heat detectors. Some good stuff for later on. Don't think there was too much else in here that we need to worry about. It can be advantageous to have a little scoot around, you know, checking in the debris fields if there's anything there. But I think we're good to move on. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Right, so that's where we just jumped from. That is the curb minesweeper and that is the station maintenance. There we go. Let's go there. Let's head there. Off we go. You love this music. warm here tonight here in the UK very warm very warm right so we oh well clean this mess up. we've got a few we've got a little party going on get him out of the equation really drones are a pain Oh, he's a flighty little so-and-so. Ooh, they're giving me some flame damage. Be careful. Bit of overheating going on. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, they're out of range, which is cool. So that means we can get this shipwreck. Okay, so and some credits. Repair our drones, get them up and functional again. Wreckage there. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. We'll leave that wreckage there. Right. Clear the mines. That's good. Okay. Oops. That one done. <laughs> right. There's another minefield there. I'll try and break before I get there. Because otherwise we go boom. And you don't gotta go boo boo. Hope you can help it anyway. Uh, one more. There we go. That's all them done. We're done here. We're done here. I finished the job. Thank you, Mr. Roslin. Payment transferred. Oh, we've got credits and some more right now, which is nice. Uh, how are we doing on there? Uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting this. You can see there's some nice rewards should you get to uh, the next. Oh, I can see I can claim them now, but I want them right now. Maybe when we sort the stuff out. So we'll sort the stuff out when we get back to uh, a base somewhere. Ooh. Okay, that's a tease. There's a container, but there's a Zerilia scout around there. Let's go take him on. Be not to, wouldn't it? Well done, drones. They absolutely destroyed him. Making the drones. Well done, drones. Right. So oh, there's that there. Sometimes, obviously, we do try and lead the players a little bit down the path. Um, so if you do see, obviously, something nearby where there's a there's an enemy or there's some, you know, mines, as in this case, always be on the lookout that you think, ah, oh, that might give us a little bit of a clue that there's, you know, something there. There it was. A good pl uh, ploy there from uh, Panciotti over on uh, YouTube. So I've just flown straight past the stuff I was going to collect. Uh, is that carrying a system reset uh, is very handy. If you're dealing with <coughs> a lot of fire damage, uh, and your system's overheating or you know you're getting frozen etc then system resets will set you on the path to recovery very very quickly no one drones there we go flying in formation well done well done Oink. there we go thermo oops hello that was a bit close for comfort wasn't it? Okie dokie, right. So we've got some more direct. Ooh, that's a 25. That might be pushing it a little bit. Ooh, and that's a that's a double horrible one. Um not a fan of that one. Hmm. That is all. <clears throat> now, people may get confused with these because of reading it. Um, pretty much, you can see from that signal decoder there that there's two kind of good buffs for you as a player. So, if I should do that signal decoder, then there's GMB allies on site, which are going to help me, and also that I'm going to get more credits when um, the enemies die. Now, that is seen as a positive outcome for you but it means that the loot quality overall will be lessened within that signal decoder. Uh, if we have a look at the other one, which is the superior level 22, <laughs> then you can see that the loot quality is plus 220%, and that's made up of over-leveled enemies that can be anything from we plus one to plus three levels higher than yourself. No EMP, so unfortunately the EMP uh, will not work against the enemies. And then corrosive death, enemies leave behind corrosion fields when killed. So that is seen as being a bit more of a challenge. Obviously, that is uh, in shown as an improvement in your loot quality. But overall, hmm, that's going to be a tough one, uh, especially for this build because I am reliant on EMP to a degree. And then overleveled can be quite tough as well. So hmm, interesting, interesting. Uh, quick look. Uh, Exo, what is your favorite star system music? Uh, 
Zarkov and Sito resonates with them most. Hmm. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I do like Drake. I do like Drake. Uh, I do think it's quite uh, quite a nice little thing. How you doing, Monkey? Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, I think Drake is probably some of my favorite. It's just such a chill track, especially when you're in Super Light. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to meet Gera actually um, uh, and shake his hand because some of the tunes are just phenomenal, and uh, I do appreciate his uh, his guitar work on that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just carry on. Do we have another job? And we're in that one, aren't we? Okay, the station maintenance is the last one over there. Let's jump. Right, let's head over here. There we go. We shall try not to fly through the, um, the planet. That's never a good idea. So hopefully we'll just skim it. Oop. Yep. <laughs> right then. interesting to ask actually people in the chat um predominantly we do see a lot of people use uh keyboard and mice uh we do you know set the game up for that uh, quite nicely uh, but is there anybody that's specifically a controller player on pc do you prefer the controller setup um what controllers do you use that's always okay, a now let's inspect the station wow carefully. okay so we've got to deal with the zorilla first or we can do any fixing because they've probably blown holes into the thing Nice, is it? Oop, hello. Now we go. All right, cross shield. Okay, that poor Zerilla drone there. <laughs> I want to know how that's surviving. That, that's it. That's impressive. He's like, you're not getting me. Nope, nope. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, he died. <laughs> uh, Super Scrapper uses uh, an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. Cool, cool. Uh, and DH397's uh, Lens used the... Oh, the TH... Sorry, TH. The uh, T1600 Hotas. Mm, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I mean, we, we do have a lot of people who do like using Hotas and Hosas. Um... I do have a Hotas myself. I find it very, very difficult to um, uh, to be as accurate with uh, um, a peripheral as such. Um, and I'm not really a control player. I always do struggle a little bit controllers. Um, okay. So, um, but yeah, fair play to you if you can use the controllers. Well done, you. Uh, right. Okay. Leak number one. The old. Um, there's one over there. I can just see it there. It's just... Let's go around. Let's not try and squeeze through a gap that the ship is not designed to go into. Boop. Uh, unknown, are you playing on a dev build? No, I'm not playing on the dev build. I'm playing on the same retail version uh, as yourselves. So what you see is uh, in the game uh, for you guys to play currently. Right. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there's it. <laughs> if in doubt, right in front of you. That's an awfully close rock. <laughs> I I think I think uh, I think I'd be complaining about an obstruction. You can't park there, mate. <laughs> no insurance. Uh, so, uh, Mister um, Geebite, how would you like to claim on your insurance? Well, I was just docking uh, in my truck, and uh, there was a great big rock in the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, just oh, there's the leak as well. Too busy looking at the rock. We put that there. There we go. Done. That Another one. Oh, that was a cinch. 
Right, you can claim those rewards. Have we got room? Hang on. Uh, let's claim those rewards. Minesweeper and liquor as well. We must be very... Oh, no, we've still got some good space. Um, <clears throat> a bit of frog. Why am I on the dev build? Uh, simply because I didn't want to show anything by accident. You know, sometimes, obviously, there's things that we need to maybe show and maybe not show. Um, and then, you know, there's things that we don't definitely want to show. So I'm just, just being careful, being prudent on my part, just to make sure. Uh, da, da, da. And we've got uh, Monkey says over on Twitch that they, they don't really like mouse and keyboard for space fighting games. Uh, but then men of our age were brought up to judge. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I'm going to yeah, kind of, you know, show my age a little bit here. But I played on the Atari VCS way back when I was a little, little boy. And that was a single button and joystick, you know, kind of thing. But yeah, I do much prefer, um, in most cases, keyboard and mouse now. Uh, you can get nanobots, Johan. You can get nanobots. There we go. Uh, and then Super Scrapper says, remember playing freelancer on keyboard and mouse, but I much prefer control now because I'm stupid. <laughs> the controls are usually a bit easier on the controller than keyboard and mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's each to their own. There's, I, we, you know, we do uh, kind of make the game predominantly for keyboard and mouse just because the control method has been very refined for us. Uh, but obviously, we do allow you know uh controllers to be used and we think we've got a decent setup uh in terms of um layout etc so um yeah for controllers so you know hopefully people enjoy it that way right so you've done that got that data hey we're, we're flying through that right now now aren't we right tell you what we need to do then i think we need oh yes that's that search and destroy we're gonna accept that job I do like these completed. jobs are popping up so well. Your credits will be with you imminently. Thank you. That's what I like to hear. Credits. And you. Point. There we go. There we go. Coming down there. Still under status effect. Scout. Don't you give me none of that. Thank you. That wasn't very nice. Right, bit of wreckage. Cash, credit, per the drone. Where are you? Okay, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Excellent, we're all full. Uh, right, what have we missed up here? Okay, it's over there. That was the intuitive cruise booster. Oh, okay, free again. Let's have a little look, shall we? Mm -hmm. Nanobots. Have a look, see. Don't think there's anything else around. I think. Kind of dealt with that around there, so let's make like a tree and leave. Uh, unknown, did you guys get inspiration from any game while in development? Uh, lots of games, to be fair. Uh, I know the guys um, uh, in Hamburg love uh, pretty much name and we, we Elite Dangerous. Elite going back to 1984, Elite 2 obviously in the late 80s, early 90s, um, Freelancer, Descent, Free Space, you name it. You can pick and choose your kind of elements that you like from a certain style of game uh, and then use them as an inspiration to create something that, you know, we hope that people are happy with and makes Everspace 2 stand out. Ah, the Tundra. I've just realized it is <laughs> because you've got your name DBT in there. I've actually realized. Did you recently change your name on our Discord? I, I just I just caught it and I thought, I'm sure that's uh, DBT. I have to have a look at the actual challenges in and around uh, Drake as well. 
to get the speedy speedy. Hmm. Don't think we've done everything just yet. Oop. There they are. Touch and destroy. Okay, this might be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, hello. I'm very impressed with my little dronies. They're doing a cracking job. Okay. You're in trouble now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, job done. Job done. Thanks. That was. Yeah, thank you. That's that was good. I detect multiple signatures of ancient origin. Uh oh. So I don't have enough to deal with already. Okay. Here comes the warden. Or a warden. Right. Interesting. Let's have a little look see, shall we? <laughs> uh, the energy of damage on that is the highest. Uh, although the gauze can, as long as you can keep it ripping, is good. Mm, that's terrible. Uh, energy damage on that's not so good. Okay, what we'll do is we'll put them in, put them out. Could I could? <laughs> I think <laughs> I think trying to hit a very fast moving warden would be a bit of a challenge, if I'm honest. It could be uh, an interesting one, but yes, yeah, so I think we'll uh, actually. Ooh, wrong key. I think what might be a smart move is that now you may be asking and it is a little bit of a tip uh, for, for you boys and girls that maybe not come across a warden yet um if you've never played the first game you've not come across them in the second game um energy is a good weapon to use against them um so uh, just bear that in mind uh hence why i was just switching things out so we are going to take on this warden hopefully it's not um uh, our final thing that we do ever right. Ooh, we just skipped that didn't we right the gun and he's moving boom we got that dark energy thank you very much so yes the gun very nice yeah he did uh, he did just think ah i'm just going to teleport away from that missile unfortunate but never mind right let's have a little head through here see what we can find there's a shipwreck anything good oh blueprint web missiles another shipwreck down we go. Uh, oh, another blueprint. David Ata just spams rockets at the warden. It's a very good, you know, it's a good choice. It is a good choice. He stabilizes. And oh, we get another Drake signal decoder as well. Right, so we're okay on the wreckage. Just container down there. There we go. Resources always good. Right, so let's just get out of here. Then we'll make our next move. <sighs> right, let's have a little look see at the map. We do need to go to. <sighs> we don't want to go back to the thermal plant. Let's go back to Letho. Head there. And while we're doing that, I just want to have a quick look at my challenges for Drake. <sighs> okay, so two HRAs and six location challenges. Okay, got a little bit of work still to do on those. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Pesky, talking about weapon types, when are we going to see plasma weapons in Everspace 2? Hmm. That would be a very interesting kind of weapon. 
We'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, unknown. Uh, can you go anywhere without the jump drive or is it necessary? For example, say I was 50 light years away from a planet. Is it possible to just fly there with the cruise drive? No, you can't. Um, you can kind of try. <laughs> it's like because I'm not an autopilot here, I can just keep flying and flying and that's very, very slow. However, if you are within a oh, distress call, if you are within um, an instance of, say, uh, a distress call, for example, then you have to jump out of it because it's kind of a uh, its own little entity. Okay, uh, guys on YouTube, uh, are you actually seeing the chat again now? Uh, I, to be fair, I've seen your comments all the way through. It hasn't disappeared for me, uh, but uh, I think a quick refresh if it comes back up should solve you. Uh, Blau Cube, he's on vacation. He's taking some leave uh, this week. Some well-deserved rest. You know, we'll go, we'll go do this just for gas, just gas call. Because you never know. You never know. But like I say, uh, just for unknown, if you want to fly off in this direction and just keep going, then you can do. You would will eventually, you know, kind of reach a boundary. But it's, <laughs> it's not an ideal path to do. Okay. I'm coming. Uh, surrounded by mines, but you're also surrounded by Zerilla. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, an interesting one. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm nearly on fire. Let me know. There we go. There we go. He's done. He left a nice little bundle of fun in his uh, bombs take care Johan ooh man. thank you we'll have that cargo unit yeah we we did lose quite a few there unfortunately right let's just head back over here we've we'll, got these mines to deal with Now, there's two ways to do this. <laughs> there's an easy way, <clears throat> and that's to shoot them. However, you will see that it causes damage to the craft. But if they're far enough away, they take minimal damage. So you may just about get away with it. If it's one of these that's very, very close. Yeah. So I think we should be okay, to be fair. He's going to take a bit of damage, but do you know what? Anyway, the other option, <laughs> the more friendly option, is to fly very, very close and, and grab it. You got them all. And you've got to grab it very quickly. Because as soon as it starts going, ee, and then it'll explode. So if you grab it, it turns friendly. Which means that you can then use it to um, launch over there. But it won't reach them, but never mind. Right, we're just going to head down here because we've got a lot of scrap metal and we've got a container as well. Wipe. Right, so we can get these uh, this wreckage because we've only got the two and a bit drones left. <laughs> Let's construct a drone, construct a drone, drone, repair the drone, repair the drone. And a container. More credits. Wow, we're doing well with these credits. Loving the credits. Right. There we go. He's gone. With the thermal gun being auto tracking as well, just be very careful that you actually have the correct target um, selected. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be absolutely hammering um, possibly a friendly. Okay, back to enjoying the view. Break. There we go. Oh, credits. Here we are finding some good credits. I'm liking this. Just hope we can find something to spend it on. Right. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we've got everything around this 
There. Oh, we found. Oh, we missed. We missed the shipwreck. Oh yeah, flat cannons. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to be very careful with those. Very careful with those. Um, small tight space is not a good idea, and lots of friendlies around. And if you're fighting against anything that's kind of like the detonator drones or the teleporting drones that do get up in your face. Not advisable to use a flat cannon, to be fair. Uh, you do end up with uh, quite a bit of pain. <laughs> with a capital P. Um, on one of my previous runs uh, through as a gunship, um, I used to use the flat quite a lot. So, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, David Ata, uh, I meant to ask, does Lucation's unfinished puzzles show any hints? Uh, there's still something to find in one location I received 100% complete, but doesn't show a check mark on the map. Uh, Michael said, not yet. Okay, hey, what's that marker there? Oh, lethal, that's where we were heading. Uh, so turning mines into a friendly mine is basically like petting a cat. There is a window of one to two seconds where your fate is decided. Yes, cats are very fickle. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to feed me? Oh, you're going to show up me? I'm your friend. <laughs> For life. Until you stop feeding me, until you stop petting me. All right. Whoop. Hello. Nice. Hey, can we just, you know, pull some debris out of the way? Anything, anything good in hiding in here? Ooh. There's a button. Let other people work that one out. Right, so we're just going to get docked. And then we can sell some stuff. There we go. Flying in, swooping in, swooping in. Coalition HQ, here to serve you. You worm. Hi, be nice. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, dead. Yeah, uh, Bearded Frog did point out uh, quite well over on uh, on YouTube that if you do get stuck with some of the puzzles and you're tearing your hair out, we don't want that obviously frustration to uh, to stop your enjoyment of the game. Um, but there has been discussions for changes in that regard. Um, but also in the interim, then we do have the wonderful wiki uh, that is uh, looked after by some wonderful folks um, on the Discord as well. The tundra, uh, the tundra. To be honest with you, I do find some of the puzzles tough because I'm like, I've been through here. I'm sure I have, and then you kind of just get focused and you miss and you miss and you miss. So, uh, yeah, all good stuff though, all good stuff. Right, let's just check out the inventory. We'll see what we can sell, what we want to keep. Mining equipment that was handy. We just stole that, but you know we'll sell it back to them. So they won't mind. Let's go to the shop actually. Better option. Uh, so there, yeah. Ooh. Oh, well, then. Mediums. No, we're okay. Now. Hmm. Firepower. The same. I'm just going to dismantle that for some stuff. <sighs> dismantle for some stuff. You can go as well. There, you can go into there. That's a good thing to sell. Yeah, we'll sell all that. Sell. All right. Ooh, that intuitive recharge booster. Yeah, if you... Um, remember, there's picking that. Now, we do lose... <laughs> Kind of good and it's kind of bad. We get a good 10% improvement in speed gain and a 15% improvement in recharge and in acceleration and energy capacity. But the drain on the uh, consumption is higher. And then we lose firepower and utility, but we gain structure and handling. So I think it's a worthwhile improvement. So I think we're going to switch that. I think we'll go for that one. We'll dismantle that one for the parts. Sell that. Uh, I'm going to keep that for the time being. Just going to dismantle for parts. Part. Oh, we should have saw that. No. Get rid, get rid. Hmm. Now I'm going to dismantle that one because I'm not going to use it yet. But it'll be good for uh, later on potentially. Get rid, get rid, get rid. Right, that was all the latest stuff. Sell so that. Yeah, and I think I've been losing too much in terms of um, 
weapon output. So I'm not going to switch to that. Yeah. I'm quite, I quite like that. I think it's not too bad. Blah, 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 blah. I think I'm actually going to switch to that. I think that one's kind of getting a little bit long in the tooth. I'm just going to bear that down. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Prime Zapper. We'll get rid of small ones. Hmm. That one's quite handy. You can see the perk on that one, which is obviously an increase in precision. But when you stopped, resource scanning range is increased by 10% every second to a maximum of 50%. Uh, it's very, very good when you're hunting for specific items in terms of resources later on, um, because you'd be looking around. It saves you flying around. Ideally, if you want it on something with a, a very high resource range as well, that would be beneficial. But... Mm. We can't have everything, can we? We can't have everything. So we'll just sell that. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. System recovery routine. There's the flak. We're not going to bother. I'm going to switch back to those rockets for the time being. And those. And then a mainframe expansion, which we've got <coughs> there. Right. So what have they got for us to buy? Anything good? We do need a pure iron. Oh, look. Terrine, ship dealer. Oh, okay. Right, let's invest then. Pulse modulator. Now, can we craft a pulse modulator? Can we craft a pulse modulator? Under the blue. Pulse mutator. Was it a pulse mutator? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, Terrine needs one. We can, because we've got two flawless malamite. We're going to craft that bad boy. There we go. So we'll give that to Tareen. And that's that bit complete. <laughs> ship dealer is level four. Okay, so that uh, increases the selection of the ships on the Flying Duchess. A lot of other stuff. They get very expensive later on, so just be mindful. Uh, we'll just one call their missions. Yeah. Oh, claim those rewards. We've got to claim them. How are we doing? Oh, yes. For our renown... <coughs> I'm going to wait until I get to level 24. Uh, another little tip for you. If you're very close to picking up things in terms of renown, these obviously you can tell don't have a level attached to them. If I was to pick them up now, they would become level 23. If I wait until level 24, then obviously they will jump up to that uh, level as with me. So, uh, Daminator, I usually find an energy sphere dispenser that I keep trying to take sphere to the socket, but expires like two kids before I reach it, then find a closer dispenser. <laughs> It's, it's one of those wonderful things. It, you kind of live and learn, don't you? You live and learn. Um, so we're going to sell this uh, bit here that we just picked up. Solar panels, it's free money. It's free money. Uh, we'll just do a quick restock on all of those. It's good. Um, yeah, just quickly look over on the tube of you. There we go. In dramatic. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's have a look then. So we've kind of ticking into plus T3 pluses. So we've got the Titan or oh, the Scout. Oh, sorry, the Scout, or rather, or the uh, Bomber. Hmm. Not sure. Right, so what was the challenge that we needed to do here in Drake as well? Six location and two HRAs. Now, do we have a HR, another HRA set yet? We don't, do we? Okay. We've got several to choose from. Right, there's a 23. That's a 25. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Uh, we're quite aware in terms uh, unknown of the game. Um, Mission-wise, you know, I'm still quite a bit to do. But, you know... Uh, Yeah, I'll just yeah. Thanks for the clarification on that, bearded frog. Uh, so yeah, I've still got quite a bit to do. You can see there's plenty of side missions that I still haven't done. 
uh rips in space as well to to do that uh as well as like crash and burn which is obviously in and around this area but i'm trying to avoid a lot of the main storyline when we're here this far ahead um because we are kind of getting into territory where people definitely won't have got there if they've only just started and i don't want to give away too much obviously you'll see the area you'll see the missions see some of the enemies that you're going to have to deal with uh but we don't want to kick on too far um, and spoil everything i know eric is obviously playing through on his nightmare run but um he's taking it a little bit slower because a it's more difficult on the nightmare uh and obviously uh, he keeps dying Especially when he thinks I'm not listening and I didn't hear him die the other day. He'd like He wasn't going to tell me that he'd actually died. But, you know. He forgets I always end up watching back the VOD as well to do the timestamp. So I'd have, I'd have seen it anyway, you know. Right, so let's pick up some more jobs. So we've got more battle support. I'm going to do this destroy base. I do actually fancy the destroy base. We'll go do that one. And then we'll pick up the two battle supports as well. Watch, I'm gonna die now. I know I've said that. There's me trash talking Eric, and it's like, <laughs> I'll be like, oops, that'd be me. <laughs> Nobody keep count, all right? Nobody keep count. We're not allowed. Not keeping count. I do like the silhouette of the Vindy. I do think it's cool. It's very manta rayish from underneath. <clears throat> right. So this is a base that's been causing problems. Right, okay. Time to put it out of commission. We've got Zerilia and Retaliators here. <clears throat> okay. We just leveled up. Nice. We've got a device upgrade as well and a blueprint, which I just flew straight into, which was nice. <clears throat> right, anything. Okay, well done, drums. How are you? Just blow right in my fist. <clears throat> right in my fist. So, oh, repair the drones while I'm here. Ooh, rocket to the face. Do you mind? Not very nice, is it? So we need six more energy coils. <clears throat> Getting all the bits. <clears throat> it's 
good. And three more energy coils. Make it this. Textures. Beneath. Beneath. Hello. Just be careful. There we go. So for flying there. <clears throat> okay. There's one. Marvellous. Right. Boss dude, where are you? Right behind us. Yeah. Oh, hit it again. I'm done with the job. Excellent, Mr. Roslin. Excellent, Mr. Roslin. Oh. There we go. Right. We'll just claim that. <coughs> we'll claim those rewards. Excellent. Uh, so the the one problem with the thermal gun, you don't always control where it goes. No, I mean, obviously, you've got to target with the thermal. You do really have to target. If anything kind of flies into your uh, shots as such, then there's not a lot you can really do to that, for that, to be fair. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to claim these rewards for the Penumbra, Nanoplating, and Energy Shield credits and decal. There we go. <clears throat> that gives us some nice stuff. So let's... Bonk is kinetic, and that's more energy. Um, tempted just to switch to that. We'll keep the rocket. <clears throat> I mean, that's just a straight up improvement. Yes, I lose expertise. However, the improvement in firepower, the improvement in armor, is just phenomenal in itself. Um, that's quite a quite a boost. Uh, precision and structure. So we will switch to that. <clears throat> uh, unknown uh, is the Vindicator your favorite class? Um, it's definitely growing on me it's not a class that i've really played much before um if i'm honest i've been a sentinel and a gunship guy uh to be fair in my previous playthroughs so uh, uh just this playthrough where i've been streaming um started in the sentinel and then i got the chats to decide uh, which ship i was gonna fly so yeah it's um it's good uh, i like it's kind of like a a necromancer class um, but yeah, do tell me what is your favourite class. I mean, uh, uh, Frogs just said he thinks the Striker is the best class. Um, but opinions, you know, they always vary. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Uh, right, level twenty-five. Mm. That's not a bad coil gun, to be fair. That is not a bad coil gun, to be fair. Uh, I do not. I am really tempted with that one. Just because I know it's going to be tough. You know, we're going to activate it. I, I just got to... It is going to be awkward. It's, I, I know it's going to be awkward. I really do. That's a superior flak. Okay. Just check. So we took on the penumbra. Thermo. Not doing a great deal in terms of energy. I may switch back to that temporarily. The only thing with that is that that can it can hit. Hmm. I may switch mid-fight. We'll see. <laughs> There's always the beam. I mean, the disintegrator there will hit hard as well. And that was quite nice because it's 10% chance to regenerate 20% of the kinetic damage dealt as hull. 35% chance to mine an additional resource and 10% experience on kill. That's not too shabby. What's the range? 1,400 and that's 1,500. Do you know what? We're going to go that. We're going to go that. Right, so <clears throat> this could potentially be um, our first death when we get there. So I'm just going to pick up the wreckage just to get the drones in tip-top shape. And credits down there as well. You know. Possibly want credits. There we go. There we go. Container there. So this is why people do like the flak. 
The splash damage is quite phenomenal. You've just got to be very careful, like I said, in confined spaces, etc., etc. There we go. Right, let's just some scrap. That's some wreckage. Stuff over there. We left. How oh, very rude. Look at that. Sticky turrets. They can be quite handy. Again, it's not a personal favourite of mine, sticky turrets. Um, I have used them, but not often. So now we've obviously reached level 24. <coughs> Things are looking like they're going to be uh, pushing on higher and higher in terms of that. I mean, that energy core there... Okay, I'd lose firepower and utility, but you would gain quite a significant amount from there. There's always the option to upgrade it as well. Although there's that tuned energy core, so that probably... Do you know what we're just going to do? We're just going to dismantle that one. Resources, yeah. Nothing too shabby, so... Let's have a quick look at our high-risk area. I am expecting a death. <sighs> Uh, Dave and Ata, apologies if I already suggested before, but could you use Restream so we could see the chat from YouTube here on Twitch? Now, we do use Restream in terms of sending out the video and audio signal. Um, I don't know how um, it would work in terms of the chat. We'd have to look into that as well. Uh yeah, there's just a bit of a discussion on the tube of you about every ship has a weakness, and, and certainly they do. They're, they're all there to be they're good at one thing, uh, but we don't want an overarching ship that just dominates. Uh, people will say, um, if you want, you know, XYZ um, to, to be good, like a gunship, for example, then you don't want it to be necessarily the most maneuverable. So the, the maneuverability is a problem in a, in a gunship, for example. But, uh, yeah, all valid. Mm. Yeah, we'll probably have a look at that, Devinator. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Right, so we're going to head there. Mm. The. Can't say I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Right, so I'm going to keep at range. So we've got Mines on Death, Double Trouble, that's obviously the two bosses, and then we've got Evolution, because they are going to level up as we go as well. Right, what's coming first then? So you there. Yeah, there you go. Go down. Now, this is going to be easier just because of the range I can keep them at. You can see it says the Zerilla Scout is now level 24. Remember, you can open fire before they actually get into range because obviously they take uh, X amount of time to get to within range. But by that time, your uh, missile or whatever has then already hit Bravo. Oh. even a pesky one destroy a missile with a flat cannon nice <laughs> Ooh, that was nearly a bad idea all right let's just get these repaired Let's necromancer these a little bit. Bring things back from the dead. There we go. I've got to be very careful. There's so many mines around me now. Ooh, and it was firing them in my direction as well. Not good.
The other thing with the flak and the bombers is sometimes you can push them past. And by that, I mean your shots will go past the shield to the side. Trying to get my wreckage back. Come on. Give me the repairs. Give me. Oh, hello. That's a meaty little melange, isn't it, of stuff there? Oh, yeah, you can go away. Come on. Combat drones back in. Yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there, slowly. But yeah, you can see that we're just hitting at the side of him. He's good. Oh, he's got his shield down. That's good. And he's gone. Oh. And we do. Oh, we do need some more wreckage. Come on. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit now. Okay, we managed to get the boss to spawn. Now we need to get as much wreckage as we can. I need to get my drones back. And I'm going to have double trouble on this, unfortunately. So we've got two bosses. Just wanted to give myself a bit of time. Not good at all. We're overheating. Right. Oh. <laughs> you do need to get some more stuff back, though. some stuff and they're all jumping out <sighs> I'll take these, thank you. 
There we go. We got some stuff. We got some stuff. That was quite tough, actually. I was getting a little bit worried. And Chassis like, flacking a vindicator. Hey, I've just picked it up, to be honest with you, Chassis. It's, uh, <laughs> it was just handy at the time. That was, uh, yeah, that was a little bit difficult, that one, to be fair. Struggling just a, just a smidge when I was losing all the drones to get more of the wreckage. Just at one point, the, the wreckage just was not coming, which I was like, Mm. Not fly into anything and blow ourselves up because that's never a good idea. Air drones. Right. Out some mines there. Anything else? I don't think so. I think we did all right there. Part of the challenge anyway was complete. Anything in here? No. Nope. Right, let's just fly down here and get the wreckage. Get these repaired up. So that was part of the challenge for the system. Complete as well. When you look at your data and go to challenges, then we go down to Drake. We've got the two high risk areas done. <sighs> But yeah, took it <laughs> I think this uh, this does open up the question because I know Chatty is like, oh no, flacking of indica. There's so many options, and sometimes you're kind of forced, unless you're going to craft something that's specifically, you know, uh, a play style that you like. Then you kind of roll with what you get. Yeah, they, they kind of dealt with, you know. So if you, for me, I was picking up that flack there, which was like, okay, it was better than that what I was using. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, we'll switch to something else. But you know, there's always um, there's options, and I think that's what we uh, we like to have. Um, and hopefully, we've picked up something half decent. Maybe the prototype booster, but it loses so much there on the recharge. Oof. The recharge do not like me. No, no, nothing. Yeah, well, nothing there is that it's uh, marvelous. <clears throat> So yeah, that energy was. I was getting hit quite hard with the energy consumption, if I if I'm honest, because the uh, six nine six on the penumbra, and then obviously the five eight one. Mm, it was quite uh, quite dramatic. Mm. Right, so we did a uh, uh, HRA that I thought we were going to struggle with. Uh, battle support. Let's head there. Fly, let's fly away. Da, 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 da. A reminder if you are a console player and you have an Xbox Series X or a Series S and you may even have a PlayStation 5, we are coming to those consoles on August the 15th. So, not long. About two and a half weeks. Around there, two and a half weeks. We're about 18 days, aren't we? So, yeah. To help. You came just in time, too. Could use some assistance right now. Well, that voice was familiar. <laughs> there we go. I think they're going to absolutely get ruined here, to be fair. You can go away, being in my face. I thought I actually better use the. Um, G key, otherwise Eric would be reminding me that you know the amount of times that I tell him to use the G key and he doesn't use the G key. <clears throat> Careful, more incoming. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna get some more. Just see what find a few hits and see what hits. Ooh, you are a pest. Right, let's just dive into the melee. And then hit that, and then hit the phalanx. Yeah. They're nearly all gone. <laughs> there, gotta 
go any second. Shields are down. Keep going. We've won the, battle. Nice work, everybody. the phalanx is charged again. Finish nice. job for you. Much appreciated, Mr. Roslin. Credits transferred. <sighs> there we go. It's always nice. More credits. Maybe spy another ship. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, okay, so everything's there. Let's just go grab the loot. Oh, some nice loot. Yeah. Crap. Shipwreck. Come on, what you got for me? Shipwreck. Up. Plasma. And a container way over here. Ah, surrounded by a minefield. Another good thing for a flak. Splash damage. Plays things very quickly. Up and nothing dramatic there. Right, let's dive out with the other. Right. Our last one. Oh, it's another battle support, isn't it? We have... Actually, let's just claim. Creeping up. We're creeping up. Claim those rewards. We've got the other battle support there. Which is way back over that side. I said there. So let's have a little look. See. <coughs> um... Uh, this, the, sorry, uh, Super Scrapper, there is Series S. There's no um, PlayStation 4 support. So Series X and S and PlayStation 5. Yep, no worries, no worries. Yep. <clears throat> more than welcome if you do have any questions that you do need clarification on then just holler i'll get to them or if one of the team dives in before i get to it that's that's just as good that's just as good right this is a long way i didn't realize it was this far away Here we go. Right. <clears throat> Battle support again. Part two. Got the retaliators. kind of just ripped these apart here, aren't we? Impressive. Northern Coalition. Right, let's dive to here. Wow, I think that is probably one of the quickest battle supports. Yeah, to be honest with you, Bearded Frog, it is. Uh, it's because it's got the location challenges on that I don't really want to show them. <laughs> because I want people to find them out for themselves but I may do that off stream right there we go we're fully repaired we're good we're good but yeah it would be uh, it's very very handy it's one of the first things that I generally do if I am traveling around um, a system for a while then I will do the unlock No, 
No, it might not be, but sometimes it tells people or shows people where things are if they have to go looking for things. Oops, hello. Shipwreck. Shipwreck. Alright, let's get a shipwreck. <sighs> There we go. Right. <clears throat> We've done that. Let's... Hmm. Lethal's always good. But... Hmm. Let's head there instead. Let's head there. Let's dive out. Let's get out of here. There's no future here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I think I could quite easily retire to uh, the Drake system. A bit hot, but you know, if we had this music playing all the time, I'd be quite happy. I'd be quite happy. Let's get things. Dive in here. Rocks. <clears throat> It's a lot. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. Just passing through. By all means, do. Take a seat. Put up your feet. Maybe like a cookie with your coffee. I get it. I am a paying customer. Sometimes. <laughs> Very famous. Listen, man. There we go. Right, we picked up that. How are we doing for our renown now? We're about halfway there. Oh, halfway there. In there. In there. Right. <clears throat> Let's just sell some stuff. We'll have a look at the ship dealer as well. See if we've got some stuff that may be of use. There. There. No. I'm not a mine boy. I never, never really like mines. Some people love them. Never been a fan. I mean that's that's that is handy. That's quite nice. <clears throat> I'm just concerned of the loss of firepower again. Can't be damaged, which is always good. But we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. Uh, rapid pulse. Okay. Cannon. Get rid, get rid of some of that. Be jig those. Hmm. I want to keep all of those two. No, we'll get rid of that one because I don't think I'm going to do that one. Maybe. Two energy core in the center. We might. Produce something better. That's not bad, to be fair. Lose precision gain structure. Decisions, decisions. It's just decisions, decisions. I will just handle that for parts. <clears throat> right, let's just see. Right, we'll have a quick look at the ship dealers. See what they've got. So we've got the striker, which is here. Is very very nice nice yellow okay three plus we've got the interceptor um like a satsuma and a tangerine we've got another vindicator the fate bringer Ooh, fate bringer three okay so shield bonus armor bonus and expertise drone hit points yeah okay that's good that's good reanimator Good. I like that. The potential. Nothing else. I wouldn't really drop down below a three now, as soon as I'm into there. 
So uh, let's just do a quick restock as we do as always. Now, craft anything fancy schmancy. Be really, really handy. If we have a look at our ship quite now. <laughs> Michael does actually prove a point there. Uh, there's always a case for for every weapon within the game, and uh, he's just said over on uh, on Twitch chat, is that uh, mines are awesome for softening up enemies when playing on controller. So the control method can dictate your play style. So well, there you go. I hadn't thought of that to be fair because I've always been a keyboard and mouse, and uh, yes, I catch the odd mine from a bomb thrower or something like that and throw it back at them. But yeah, um, and the super scrappers. Imagine if enemies could catch and throw back mines like you can that would make interesting <laughs> I wouldn't be throwing any uh, like some interesting game yeah it would make some interesting gameplay very much so very much so yeah so uh, right let's just sorry let's just have a look at my that's a 22 that's not too bad um, energy core what was the energy core that we picked up that was quite nice Boost boost. It's a twenty-five. You know what? I'm going to remove the level restriction on that. <clears throat> now that means you can see that I'm only level twenty-four, but I've actually slotted a level twenty-five item just because you can modify it. So if you do have something that's locked, say for example these EMP missiles, some people might not be aware of this. If you go to modify, you can remove the level restriction. You can also increase the rarity so you can improve it. You can increase the level so you can improve it. And if you want to, you can install a catalyst as well. But if you want to, if you've got enough for the parts, in this case, spare parts, circuitry, and then just behind me here uh, is some power couplings, then you can remove the level of restriction, which is very, very handy uh, as you go on. So uh, you can see that's just kind of helped me a little bit already. Um, again, there's nothing else that I've got just yet. It could be something within the shop is there that might be slightly higher, but usually they're always on the level. Do I not have that yet? I do. I was like, huh? I'm sure I've got that. I'm sure I've got that. Uh, actually, the teleporter. Oh, yeah, we've got the scurry on them. We've got the scurry on the mastery. Um, energized boost we've mastered and the corrosion we've mastered See, I haven't used them generally I, I tend to stick with EMP but then obviously EMP scurry out and then turn around and hit them with the corrosion injector if um, if possible energized boost may be something that we'd swap out uh, again it's the various play styles uh, do offer various things so um, hmm, interesting the mark all is this red there we go mm. so yeah not sure there's going to be anything that we're going to switch to uh in terms of different play style play um ships nothing really but we may go somewhere else and maybe switch it up for the next time next time but i've just noticed the time we're getting close we're getting close so i need to just do a little intermission transition oh i like that intermission transition oh uh, i should be back shortly and we'll look at some of these fantastic screenshots We'll be back in a moment. While we're just transitioning, don't forget you can follow us on Twitch. Show me your idea. You can follow us on the Tube of You. If you want to follow us over on Twitter, X, whatever it's called, you can follow Rockfish Games and also at Everspace Game. We're also over on Instagram as well. We post some lovely pictures up there and information over at Everspace underscore game. We're on the Reddit as well if you check out the Reddit. And don't forget the wiki if you want to join us over on, uh, on there. All those places you can do. And obviously our home is the Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Rockfish Games, which we are more... Uh, then we're happy for you to come and join us on. We would appreciate it immensely. Right. So, let us find some shots of screen. And here we are. There we go. Right. 
These have all been coming in uh, over on our Discord. We have the wonderful channel for screenshots there and also on the Steam forums, which do have people posting some wonderful things. Uh, I think if you don't dabble in the screenshots over there, then you're missing out. People are bringing some wonderful pictures to the fore and it's some things that we like to share. And this is one of them. Um, this is by, I think it's a Russian player who is by the name of Titan. Um, and pretty much it's a very, very organic uh, image. Line of indicator, got these little drones flying around, creating a slightly green aura in that background, but it's a very organic planet. I'm sure some of you have already been there. Um, but yeah, in the underground, in the undergrowth of that, very, very late. Now, for those of you who haven't seen me when we do these screenshots, I always like to give them a little name. So if I see a screenshot, I always like to give them a little a little title, uh, unless the person has titled them themselves. So people, if you are wanting a title for your screenshots, then do drop it in wherever you put your screenshot. Uh, yeah, Pesky, it's a very gloomy environment indeed. Very gloomy. Uh, now, this one is called What Lurks in the Darkness. I mean, the ship and the drones are lurking, but what other organic things are lurking? So yeah, that one is What Lurks in the Darkness. A very good pick, yeah, absolutely very good pick from Titan over on Steam. Uh, next up, we have one from our Discord, and this is from RGB Toaster. Uh, a wonderful atmospheric and quite moody shot. I like the way that it's actually looking down on the top of the base um, as this ship, this outlaw ship, seemingly goes out on a patrol. Um, I thought they captured it very well. And you really actually don't notice the star too much, right slap bang in the middle of the screenshot because you've got the focus on the outlaw ship. And then you just notice the outlaw base as well. Uh, it's very, uh, yeah, RGB toaster. Yeah. One day one day we might get one of those. I'm sure, actually, I'm surprised that there isn't one already in the world, an RGB toaster. I'm sure there is somewhere. Um, so it'd be interesting to uh, to see. So uh, this one I've called, because they didn't supply one as far as I can remember, is called Patrolling the Inky Black. So obviously there's a lot of darkness, and this is a very dark region of space, especially with the uh, the sun, that's uh, or the star that's kind of been obscured a lot by the debris and the broken asteroid and planet and everything. <laughs> uh, Super Scrapper says, RGB toasters already do exist. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, DVT. Oh, right. Okay. So, the uh, right. You've got a title. What I'll do is I'll just copy that title. So I actually do remember that, what that one is. Okay. Because I actually did call it something slightly different, but we'll, uh, we'll just plunk that in so that we've got that one. But yeah, we do have yours coming up a bit later on. So, uh, yeah, that's very, very nice. It does seem very serene. I know Pesky, you've just put the silence of space and I think that does fit it quite well as well. Uh, you just think that there's all you'd hear, you know, vacuum of space here. Um, that they would just pass and that would be the only thing. Only thing. Only thing. Right. So next up, we switch over to uh, another one from Steam. And this time, they actually did title this one. And this was from uh, a player called Wreath, um, who uh, who did title this Let There Be Light. So uh, you can just see that <clears throat> there's a kind of aura, there's the star, and it almost looks like... <clears throat> for, for, seemingly uh, a characterization of a deity looking down onto a region of space <clears throat> and offering the light uh, going forward. Very, very detailed area. I do like this quite specifically um, just because of the shadows and the darkness and all the coloration of the nebula in the background. Very, very clever shot. So well done, Wreath, over on Steam. Next up, we have Winged Nightmare. Yes. Over on our Discord, I thought it was very, very good. I know I'm kind of slightly blocking this one here, but you can just see. Uh, a couple of uh, GMB Elite Fighters that... Uh, and GMB doesn't stand for Geek Bite, by the way. <laughs> just purely coincidence, honest. Um, and this is that they've just getting a little bit too close to each other. And the shields are activating and they're asking like, come on, give me a bit more room here. You know, you're a little bit close. What are you doing? Uh, and this one I just called, uh, what's a nudge between friends? So yes, they are just giving each other a little nudge, a little uh, a little push, and uh, try not to break the uh, or scratch the paintwork of their GMB Elite fighters. But very very well done, Winged Nightmare. Very very well done, liking that one. 
Now, one of our legends uh, of uh, galactic photography took this one. I'm sure you all saw it on our Discord, and this was from Dark Chaos. Um, I don't know how they do it. Some of you guys can, can just go somewhere. You know the pictures that you want to take, and you know um, how to take it in the best way, and you get it um, put out. Now, this one is from Everspace. You can see it just down here, just underneath. It is actually from the original Everspace. We do like to show them off from time to time uh, because the game is still fantastic. But you can see the the trails of the engines of the ships, uh, the planets that look like, oh, the planets on the moon. One looks like it's just about to collapse. Uh, there's fights going over on in the far corner. Uh, th th there's a lot going on in that picture when it looks quite rhythmic and uh, swoopy. Uh, so this one uh, was actually uh, named by Dark Chaos. So this is their title of Friends to the Rescue. Okay, so we've got Friends to the Rescue. So everybody's swooping in and helping out. Uh, uh, but yeah, that, that's a phenomenal shot. Uh, I'm loving it, loving it. And actually, I haven't just realized that the, uh, the ship that's just swooping in in that far corner, your eyes are really drawn to the center of the uh, of the screen with uh, the red trails. Uh, great shot. Uh, I'm sure you'll all agree. Fantastic, fantastic. Right, moving on. Our latest and greatest, possibly one of the greatest photographers of recent times uh, uh, took this shot. Uh, Sonazaki over on our Discord, who's just been made a galactic photographer. Uh, I know Eric... Uh, announced it last week, um, unbeknownst to me, but it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, they are pulling some excellent shots week in, week out. So if you do meet that standard, you could get the Galactic Photographer title over on the Discord. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Now, this is quite an iconic um, region for people to dive into uh, and have a look at in parts of the game. And just the atmosphere that it creates is quite nice. Uh, they didn't title this one, but I did, and it was called Light at the End of the Tunnel. Yes, it looks like that's where they're heading, uh, and that's their exit point. But uh, it's a great place. If you've not been to it yet, you'll enjoy that atmosphere in that cave. Ooh. Next up. Now, this is an ultra-wide. I think you can just about see it. I managed to fit it all on the screen. Um, and this one is from Steam, and it is from a character called RA4S. Not entirely Rafts. I don't know how they're going to pronounce that, but RA Forest. Um, and this is pretty much the gunship in full flow. Um, you can see the firepower. I think they're just about to get shot as well by something, but everything's going off. They've got the turrets going. They've got the four hard points firing as well. Looks like they've just taken a little hit on the back of it. Uh, that is, It is a very, very ultra-wide. <laughs> very, very ultra-wide. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, what width they took this out, but it is very, very wide. So, um, uh, Pesky, uh, I guess this is going to be All Guns Blazing. Now, you are very correct, sir. That is my title for this one as well. Uh, I said All Guns Blazing because literally, what else could you call it? Uh, every gun on that ship is firing. Uh, great shot there from uh, RA4S on Steam. Absolutely wonderful shots. Uh, like I say, we're enjoying uh, what you're bringing to the table um in terms of screenshots so please keep them coming uh we do check them we'll comment them on them as well and uh, give you a thumbs up uh, etc on the discord right next up is obviously somebody will know this kind of work that we get from this player uh, it's the chemical bro back with another masterpiece of a shot phenomenal the different colors uh the background everything about it is just phenomenal again great work as always and thoroughly worthwhile now again they didn't name it but i actually titled this one and it may be a very sci-fi rest reference is cylons or borg Boat on torpedo <laughs> i like where you're going with that one flory i like that one but yeah uh I, I just put cylons or borg because it looked like there was something on that ship that was looking back at our ship obviously if you think of the borg from star trek uh, specifically uh, Jean-Luc Picard with, you know, the, the sensor on the side of his... Yeah, but he had this sensor on the side, didn't he, that was red, if I remember correctly. But then, obviously, Cylons were uh, a little bit different. Yeah. So you're going Cylons. Flora's going Cylons. So, but yeah, uh, great work again from Chemical Bro, uh, one of our other galactic photographers. Uh, next up is one, a new character from Steam. Um, I thought this was very, very nice because of 
all the correlations going on and then obviously they're drawn to the impact uh, of the explosion right in the middle and that was from um akira zaib uh over on steam uh this one i named bleeding sky because it almost looks like that ship has been hit and then the red of the nebula in the background has been okay metaphorically it's bleeding it's bleeding so i think that's one's a good one for bleeding sky very very good very good uh, another one actually here coming up and this one is another ultra wide from ra4s over on the steam this one you kind of got to put sun sunshades on it's that bright uh very very good a lot of distortion in the image as well um great shot front shield generator i believe there as well um as that uh drone carrier uh, explodes i think it's a drone carrier uh, explodes but yeah again brilliant wide shot from ra4s um but yeah i did call it shades required because if you want to look at that screenshot you've got to have your shades on because otherwise you burn your retinas but a uh, wonderful shot uh, again uh looking very very good again this is the kind of talent that we've got with these screenshots and uh looking good looking good as we go forward right one more came in very very late i did ask yesterday for the last call of the screenshots and then sonazaki again uh, our latest galactic photographer came in with it's wallpaper material you want to put that on your phone you know as your desktop uh whatever it's a great shot um again that perspective putting the ship in that specific place the corona of the star just around that planet as well um nope no you haven't bearded frog um so very very good and then you just got the uh gmb patrol just in the background in the bottom corner just about oh hang on let's just about there just where just there <laughs> just where my finger disappears uh so yeah wonderful shot from sonazaki and then last but certainly no means least <laughs> this is from dbt this is from the tundra uh over on the discord now they are calling this one specifically uh this this is the list of killing hostiles hive uh but yeah i mean <laughs> uh, how many beams can you do you want on the go at once you know it looks a bit overkill freaking lasers indeed indeed the, the, everything's going all over the place with that one but yeah bears nest galore uh wonderful shot i actually called it d-i-s-c-o because it was just like some kind of weird 60s 70s disco era with all those things going off but <laughs> very very good great shot uh thoroughly enjoyed looking through this one but uh, well done dvt uh absolutely wonderful uh, remember because I did something like that during release with the bird's nest yes yeah uh, there's, there's certainly combinations with this and it's such a phenomenal uh, kind of uh, um, special weapon that creates such a, a blown away effect but uh, yeah right it's time my friends unfortunately it's, it's crept by very very quickly uh, surprisingly um, I was not uh, imagining it to go through that quick but there we go right so next week Eric will be back and uh, not to fear because you know he's just having a little bit of time off um but unfortunately he's going to be flying solo next week because i'm not going to be here so um you're going to have to treat him kindly with the questions and everything else because i'm not going to be there uh to collect them all for you uh, and get them asked but um i'm sure he'll have something to show you we shall see we shall see but uh anyway thanks very much for joining us i'm going to show you all the images again I uh, hope you can join us again next week. Join us on the Discord. Join us on the Tube of You, on the Steam forums. If you've got any bugs, plonk them on there. You know where to put them. Uh, and always, I'll see you in the next one, whatever that is. Doodles. <laughs>